Where are you? I'm still in the office. It's already late. I'm having the best moment of my life. Tell me about it. I love your new desk. Irony alert! In most circumstances, there are statements that are plainly uttered without other meaning. I'll just buy some snacks. Please hurry, this line is so short. I'm sure I'll be inside the building in less than a minute. In this scenario, the girl may sincerely mean that the line is short and that she will immediately get inside the building. However, let us have a different take on the speaker's intention or meaning. I'll just buy some snacks. Please hurry, this line is so short. I'm sure I'll be inside the building in less than a minute. Yeah, I'm sure you will. And that, my friends, is called verbal irony. Verbal irony is a figure of speech in which the literal meaning of what the speaker is saying is different from or a direct opposite of what the speaker means. Let us have more examples. This room looks inviting. At first, the speaker is merely pertaining to a clean and well-organized room. But with this room, he is definitely being ironic. Here are more examples. Perfect! Right on time! The speaker showed irony by saying that she arrived on time even though she is actually late and the store is already closed. Next example. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. I just lost my favorite bag. In this scenario, the speaker directly mentions two contrasting statements. How could she be fine if she just lost her favorite bag? Ironic, isn't it? Now for our quick activity, write your own dialogue for the character in this photo. Make sure that it clearly shows verbal irony and comment your answer below. It is not difficult, right? No, I'm not being ironic here. I'm sincerely saying that learning verbal irony is easier than you thought. You just have to pay attention to the tone of the speaker and to what the speaker is talking about. <laughs>